Hello, my name is Chris. For today, I'm going to show you how to install Postgres QL on COS OS. So I'll walk you through step by step on getting it installed and getting it running and te testing it. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, going over installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down in the YouTube description and join our Big Bear community. It's a Discord. So let's get started. So, I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description so you can get to it. And I'm going to go to how to install Postgres QL on Casa OS right here. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go into it. So, I'm going to go to Docker Compose Postgres QL.yaml file right here. And then I'm going to explain this. So, version 3 of Docker Compose, the services. And then the service underneath the services is Postgres. And then image is Postgres uh, version 15 tag. So this will come off Docker Hub since there's no URL. So now I'm going to create environment variables. So Postgres user, big bear, Postgres password, password, Postgres DB is Casa OS. So this will be the default database that gets created on startup. So you can change these if you'd like before you put it in and install it. And then I'm gonna map some ports. So 5432 will be on the host side. 5432 will be in the container side. The host side can be changed. And then now volumes right here, I'm gonna have data, app data, Postgres QL. This is the host side. And this can be changed if you'd like. Var lib Postgres QL data is on the cont container side. Do not change the port cont a container and do not change the path and the container. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy the raw file. And then once it's copied, I'm going to go over to my COS OS and get this installed. So now I'm going to go over to my COS OS and I'm going to go to App Store right here. Then I'm going to go to Custom Install. And then you can fill this out manually, but I'm gonna go up here to import since I have a Docker Compose already created. Then I'm going to go down here and I'm gonna paste in what I just explained in the last. And I'm gonna say submit. Okay, and then now I'm gonna give it a title. So I'm gonna give it Postgres QL. And then I'm going to need to get an icon URL, and I have that over in my Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go backwards to there. Then I'm going to go down to Postgres uh, Q a QL icon right here. Then I'm going to go to COS OS again. I'm going to go back to icon URL. I'm going to paste it in. There's no web UI on this, uh, so I'm not going to put this in. Their bridge. Okay, now I'm going to uh, I have ports, so 5432 and then 5432, that's correct. It set a volume. It set it correctly, it looks like. So now I'm going to go into here, environment variables, so it looks like it's set correctly there as well. You can change these if you'd like. Now I'm going to set a container host name, so I'm going to do Postgres QL. And then I'm going to go back up. So this looks right. So now I'm going to uh, install. Or you, you can uh, see the path here and get to it and select it if you already have a path created. But I'm going to have this one since, since Postgres QL is not created. So now I'm going to install right here. I'm going to continue in background. This is pulling it down from Docker Hub, uh, getting it in, uh, extracted, everything like that. Since Docker containers are layers, it has to download layers. So now we have it installed, and I'm going to go over to... You can't open it since it don't have a web UI. It'll just send it back to the cost OS. We didn't set one. 
You can have tips to where you can just uh, write down something if you like. Now I'm going to go into settings and you can see a terminal and logs right here of what the container is doing. That's really helpful in debugging. And now you can export Docker Compose right here. You can change things right here and then press save. Now I'm going to go exit out of that. I'm going to go, you can check for updates right here. You can uninstall it. You can restart it. You can power off and on. And this will restart the container and power off and on the uh, cont a container right here. So we got it installed up and running. And now we'll get to testing it and making sure it's working. So now I'm going to test the, uh, the, the, the PostgreSQL and I'm going to do it my command line. So you'll need to put your alias in. I created it for you. So you'll be a, a Docker run and then you put your Postgres password in and then uh, you'll say remove on, uh, on exit. So it'll remove the container. And, um, so I'm going to, um, now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to co copy this. So I'm going to go over to my um, my terminal again. And now I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to change this to my Casa OS IP address. Now I'm going to press enter or return. It's going to download the, po uh, the Postgres uh, ta tag 15 off Docker Hub and store it locally. Now I'm gonna put in my PostgreSQL uh, password that I had in the environment variables. So I'm gonna, so now I'm logged in there. So now I can start testing it and seeing if things work. So you'll scroll down and you wanna show all databases. So you'll do backslash uh, L So now you'll see all the databases and then you want to go into the database. So you'll do backslash C. So backslash C and then cost the OS. And then now I'm going to put in my password for my Postgres again. Now you're now connected to the cost OS as big bear. So now you'll scroll down and you want to list all the tables inside of that database. So I'm going to do backslash T. Did not find any relations because there's no tables in that database. So now if you want to exit out of here, you do backslash Q and you're done. And we saw that it did work and it showed the databases, everything like that. So now you can get to using it. So I was wanting to go over one more thing. Um, so if you go into your Postgres uh, QL and you go to settings and then you scroll down to volumes right here, are you remember we created volume on the host side? You can see the volume uh, now, the uh, the directory. I mean, then you can go in the files app right here. You can go to app data, and then PostgreSQL, and then you can see all of the uh, files for this database in here. So it keeps it in one uh, one directory, so you can get to it really easy, and you can open it up and and edit the configuration file so i thought that would be good to know so um that's how to get postgresql working on cos os so i just uh showed you step by step on how to get postgresql working on cos os so if you enjoyed this tutorial subscribe comment like and support the channel and if you need any support or you got any video suggestions, you can go down our Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.